Welcome to Athens, Wanderer. More specifically, welcome to the musical hub of the city, the Odeon. Sometimes, when the burdens of life begin to weigh heavy on my shoulders, I come here, close my eyes, and surrender myself to the music. It makes me feel like I'm a child again. My mother singing me to sleep with a gentle lullaby. The Odeon was where musicians came to share their songs with the public. The melodies played here caught the wind and drifted through the air, soothing the souls of Athenians across the city. Come find me when your visit is complete and we will talk about the things you've learned. See you soon, Wanderer. Music played an important part in almost every aspect of ancient Greek life. Whether attending a public gathering, rubbing elbows at a dinner party, laying out offerings in a temple, or marching into battle, there was a song for everything. Aristotle even wrote that music increased the efficiency of laborers, and it was often played for rowers and field pickers to keep them working at a steady rhythm. Musical contests, or agones, were originally only held during religious festivals. Over time, they became cultural events in their own right and attracted musicians and spectators from all over the Greek world. For example, the Athenian Panathenaea festival featured competitions for instrument playing and poetry recitation. The Dionysia festival included contests between groups of male singers to see who could best perform a dithyram, a merry hymn in honor of the god Dionysus. While these contests could be attended by all, women weren't allowed to compete in them. In the early days of the competitions, winners only received a crown and an ego boost for their talents. But from the Hellenistic period onward, the rewards were upgraded to cash prizes. These prizes were large enough for musicians to make a fortune especially if they moved from festival to festival. The Odeon of Pericles was built sometime between the 440s and 430s BCE. The building was commissioned by Pericles for use in the Panathenaea festival. The Odeon was also a venue for poetry readings, political rallies, and philosophical performances. According to ancient sources, the original design of the Odeon was inspired by the tent of the Persian king Xerxes, a spoil of war the Athenians salvaged after their decisive victory at Salamis in 480 BCE. The building's roof was made of timber from captured Persian ships. In this sense, the Odeon was both a triumphant symbol of Athens and an insult to their Persian enemies. This structure, was considered one of the grandest architectural accomplishments of ancient Athens. In ancient Greece, there was a type of music for almost any occasion. Complicated songs like hymns, paeans, and dithyrams were meant for the ears of the gods, and as such were usually played during religious ceremonies and civic life. Meanwhile, a Hymenaeus was a song performed at weddings, and a Threnody accompanied funeral processions. For more merry occasions like symposia, scolia were the soundtrack of choice. However, drama was considered the epitome of artistic expression, since it combined songs with poetry, dance, acting, and costumes. Plays were thought to be the connection between mortals and gods, and the songs that accompanied them, especially those from the tragedies of Euripides, often became huge hits in the rest of Greece. Hello again. I trust your visit was worthwhile and that learning of music was a feast for your mind. I know it was for mine. Is there anything else you'd like to do? 
Fancy yourself an expert on music? Then let's put your knowledge to the test. Which of the following songs was played at weddings? Correct. A Imeneos was performed at weddings to wish the couple a happy and prosperous union. Let's move on to the second question. The Odeon of Pericles was modeled after spoils of war from which Athenian enemy? Correct. Not only was the design based on the tent of the Persian king Xerxes, but the building's roof was made of wood from captured Persian ships. Only one question remains. According to Aristotle, music was especially important to which group of people? Well, yes, but I'm not looking for the obvious answer. Think back to the tour. You are correct. Aristotle believed music improved certain motor skills, so it was played for field pickers and rowers to increase their work output. You definitely have an ear for music, Wanderer. I applaud you. Farewell, Wanderer. I hope you enjoyed the sweet sounds of the Odeon. <laughs>